Kia ora everyone. There's a word that has been used a lot recently, unprecedented. A global pandemic, staying at home to save lives and closing our borders to the rest of the world as the virus grows were all unprecedented. There was no playbook for how to respond to COVID-19, but there are lessons that we can learn from previous economic recoveries. New Zealand has seen downturns before. They don't have to leave people behind and cause large scale unemployment and inequality. That's why our plan for recovery puts people first. Our plan has five points. Firstly, we're investing in our people. Right from the start of tackling COVID-19, we put people at the heart of our plan. We introduced the wage subsidy before the country went into lockdown and it has now supported over 1.6 million jobs. We increased incomes for the most vulnerable New Zealanders to help them through the crisis. And we've made all apprenticeships and trade training in targeted areas free. So people can get the skills they need for new jobs in industries like construction. The next point of our plan is simple. Jobs, jobs, jobs. Our plan is getting Kiwis back to work after the lockdown. We're creating almost 11,000 new jobs to protect our environment. We're investing in shovel-ready infrastructure projects all over the country, creating over 20,000 new jobs. And we've introduced changes so projects can be fast-tracked, delivering more jobs sooner. Our plan is preparing New Zealand for the future. The investments we're making in infrastructure aren't just creating jobs, they're also tackling our long-term challenges in housing, climate change. We're adding 8,000 extra public and transitional houses, building infrastructure to reduce emissions and deal with our waste better, and investing in hospitals so they can keep up with our growing population. Our plan is backing small business too. Our COVID plan supported businesses to keep their employees on through the lockdown, and now we're continuing to support them through the recovery. We're giving businesses interest-free loans up to $100,000 to help them weather the storm. Our targeted tourism recovery fund is helping keep tourism assets open until we can reopen our borders. And we've delivered tax refunds of over $3 billion to help with business cash flow. And finally, our plan positions us globally to take advantage of the head start we have now that we've reopened our economy. We're giving practical support to businesses to export to the world. We're negotiating free trade agreements with the UK and European Union. And we're rolling out our plan to boost the primary sector to grow export earnings. We're making sure New Zealand is a great place to trade with and eventually visit again. That's our plan and it's already underway. We've all sacrificed so much to get us to the position we're in now. And we're not going to squander that advantage. Now's not the time to put the brakes on our progress. We've got to keep rolling out the plan and keep up the momentum. So let's keep moving.